Second John. The elder and the elect lady and her children, whom I love in the truth, and not I only, but also all they that have known the truth. For the truth's sake which dwelleth in us shall be with us forever. Grace be with you, mercy and peace from God the Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, in truth and love. I rejoice greatly that I have found of thy children walking in truth, as we have received a commandment from the Father. And now I beseech thee, lady, not as though I wrote a new commandment unto thee, but that which we had from the beginning, that we love one another. And this is love that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment, that as ye have heard from the beginning, ye should walk in them. For as many deceivers are entered into the world, who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, this is a deceiver and an antichrist. Look to yourselves that we lose not those things which we have wrought, but that we receive a full reward. And we've gone off on a trail, we've gone off into a river delta of the judgment seat of Christ, of crowns, what you can earn, what you can't lose, for what we find here that lose not those things which you have wrought, but that you receive a full reward. And I don't think that little trail that we took was wrong. I think it was very learning. Like I said, when we first started first John, I said we're gonna go slow. This is for the very young first Christian to the eldest Christian. I think it reminds us what things that we do and why we do them and why we shouldn't do some of the things that we do. But sandwiched between seven and nine, there are a there is a vivid warning. Look to yourself. The subject is deceivers found in verse seven. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Look to yourselves that we lose not those things which we had wrought but that we receive a full reward. The subject matter is you, not others here. Get your mind off people in the church house. Get your mind off your neighbors. Get your mind off your co-workers. Put your mind on yourself. But you are advised not to convert or even be deceived by these deceivers. The warning is that you receive a full reward that you do not lose those things you're wrought are connected with deceivers. Falling into a false religion and an occult. As a Christian who walks in the truth, we read through verses 1 through 6, the truth, the truth, the truth, the truth. Falling to the deceivers, verse 7. is one way you can lose a reward. Being born again, being saved, having a King James Bible, starting off in a Bible-believing church, and then falling away to deceivers of cult, a religion, or even not even doing anything. And a deceiver doesn't have to be a religion. It could be a girlfriend, a boyfriend, friends, who has turned you away from Christ. Demas has said he is turned away for the world. The world was his deceiver. If you do, follow the deceiver. And we're going to get in, and we are now in the meat. Of this sandwich between seven and nine. This is the turkey. This is the ham. This is the hamburger. This is the meat of the sandwich. And the meat of the sandwich is we are dealing with deceivers. We are dealing with you not to go off. 
we had a Jehovah Witness come to our door today. And my wife said, well, you know, read the bumper stickers on the car. Our car is surrounded by scriptures. Why did they come to our door? Because most elder and older Christians will not be as broad as we are. They will not have bumper stickers on the car. They, 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 you know, they die down. They get old. They get tired. They, they don't want to fight anymore. I'm a fighter. I stand for the Lord Jesus Christ. And when they see a car with bumper stickers in the front door with, with signs about Jesus Christ, they are thinking in their head, we have a new Christian here. He has a zeal for the Lord. He's new. He's fresh. Let's go get him. Let's get him. Let's attack him. We don't think he's going to be an old Christian. Old Christians don't act like that. They're not well versed in the Bible. The Jehovah Witnesses will go after young Christians and devour them as little baby lambs. And you got to be careful. you got to protect those little lambs because they are out there to get them. Shepherds, the church, pastor, ought to be looking out for his members of his, of his church and know the age and know the situation and know where they stand in Christ. And to know how gullible some of them are to the deceivers. There are two warnings. Deceivers are coming and deceivers will come. They've come, they're coming, and they will come. Past, present, past, present, and future. Until the reign of the Lord Jesus Christ, there will be deceivers. And number two, a loss, a loss of rewards, crowns, and even the millennial reign with Christ. And I think that's why we, we went, studied the judgment seat of Christ, studied the crowns, and studied the reign. Falling to a deceiver, a religion, a cult, or just falling out like Demas did totally. For we're on lesson 45. When I got my notes, we started the judgment seat of Christ, lesson 34. Eleven, eleven. I don't know what you want to call them. Lessons. Eleven times we've gone away from Second John, but we are still in Second John because everything that we learn from the judgment seat of Christ to lesson 44, now on 45, you get involved away from Jesus Christ, no service at all, into a religion, into a cult, you're saved, you can't lose it, we've already discussed eternal security. But you can lose. You can stand guilty at the judgment seat of Christ and lose a crown and lose a reward and lose the reign. There are four main points here. Look to yourselves. Be weary. Be mindful. And be vigilant. Be on the lookout. That we number two that we lose not those things. You can lose rewards. Number three, which we had wrought. We're still in verse eight. The rewards that you have earned can be taken away. Have you ever had a child had something taken away by your parents? But that, number four, we receive a full reward. Don't go in part, but go all. Gold, silver, precious stones, and the ring. Go for it all. And stay with Christ. What could be worse? Being a Christian and never producing one reward. Your complete life was for self. Eat, drink, and be merry. You are saved and you exist for the devil. Being a Christian, having earned rewards, suffering for Christ, 
witnessing, looking to Jesus Christ and being deceived and losing pr practically, if not all the rewards, having yet but not having nothing. And we're going to conclude there. This is a short one. We are finally going to finish verse 8. That's it. That's We've gone all this time to tell you. Don't be a loser. Stay with Christ. Stay in the Bible. Stay as a Christian and watch your walk. And we're going to get into these deceivers. We're going to get in do's and don'ts. Don't fall away. Stay in the battle. Stay. Paul said, I have finished my course. I have finished the fight. 2 Timothy 4. I have finished. Demas didn't finish. 